Warning! Failure to read, understand, and follow all manufacturer's warnings and instructions constitutes a misuse of this product and could result in serious injury or death. Please note this video is not a replacement for the included tree stand or harness instructions. Always be sure to carefully read, understand, and follow all written directions before you attempt to use this or any tree stand. If you do not have written instructions, contact Summit at 1-800-353-0634 for a complete copy. Watch this video completely. Replay any sections you don't fully understand. You'll be glad you did. Warning, never use a tree stand on a dead, leaning, diseased, loose bark tree or utility pole or on trees that have obstructions that may limit tree stand use. Never rely on a tree branch for support or as a step. Never use any type of tree that has obstructions that may limit tree stand use. The maximum weight limit for the Solo Deluxe, Solo Pro, and Outlook is 300 pounds. These limits include you plus all clothing and or gear that you plan on taking into the stand at any time. Do not exceed this limit. The maximum weight limit for the Dual Performer, Dual Pro, is 300 pounds for an individual user and 250 pounds per user when double occupied. These limits include you plus all clothing and or gear that you plan on taking into the stand at any time. Do not exceed this limit. All Summit Fixed Position tree stands should be fitted on a tree with a diameter of at least 8 inches and not exceed a diameter of 20 inches. Warning! Setting up a ladder stand requires at least three adults. Three adults allow for the proper support throughout installation. Do not try to install without at least three adults. Failure to follow these instructions could lead to improper setup, instability, serious injury, or death. Please refer to your written instructions for a complete list of parts and hardware included with this stand. Assembly can be made easier with the use of a powered ratchet or drill with a socket adapter. Take caution not to over tighten the bolts to the point that the tubing is bent. Start with the left and right platform sections as shown. Slide these two sections together and secure using three three and a quarter inch bolts with lock nuts. The bolts used here are 5 16 inch diameter. All bolts used in the next steps are quarter inch diameter. Flip the platform assembly over. Next, attach one of the rear seat supports as shown. Use one one and three quarter inch bolt and lock nut. Leave this hand tight for now. Slide the left armrest bar down on top of the seat support like this. Secure this upper hole using one one and a half inch bolt and lock nut. Leave this hand tight for now. Now slide the front armrest bar onto the left armrest bar. Use one one and a half inch bolt and lock nut at the upper location. Pivot the bar down and line up the lower hole with the hole in the platform. Use one two and a quarter inch bolt and lock nut here. Leave these hand tight for now. Repeat these steps for the other side of the stand.
All bolts used in these steps will also be quarter inch diameter. Position the seat support bars as shown. Slide the bars down into the welded brackets on the platform and secure each using one one and three quarter inch bolt and lock nut hand tight for now. The seat support is attached next. Place it in the frame between the welded brackets on the rear seat supports. Pivot the seat support bars up into the brackets on the seat support. Secure all four locations using one and three quarter inch bolts and lock nuts. Leave these hand tight. Attach the cross tension bars next. These bars run from the front armrest bar to the platform like this. Use two one and a half inch bolts and lock nuts on the bar. Repeat for the other side. The gun rest attaches next. Slide it in between the front armrest bars and line up the four bolt holes. Use two and a quarter inch bolts and lock nuts in each hole. Next, locate the top ladder section. This section will have two welded couplers on it and it will not have a U-bracket welded to one of the rungs. All of the bolts used in these steps will be 5 16 inch diameter. Slide this ladder section into the two brackets on the platform. Secure using two 2 inch bolts and lock nuts. Line up one of the ladder support bars between the platform and ladder column next. Secure the bar using two two and three quarter inch bolts and lock nuts. Repeat for the other ladder support bar. The final step on the platform assembly is to go back and securely tighten all of the bolts from the previous steps. Double check to make sure you have not missed any bolts. Wrap the arm pads around the frame as shown. Secure using the flexor strips.
Position the seat between the frame as shown. Loop the webbing over the tubing and attach the straps under the seat. The seat on this stand is removable. We suggest you remove it and store it out of the elements in a dry place when not in use. Position the bottom ladder section and middle ladder section as shown. The welded U-bracket on the middle section will face the tree once fully assembled. The bottom ladder section has no welded couplers. Slide the two sections together and use two 5 16 inch diameter 1 and 3 quarter inch bolts with lock nuts to secure. Take these two ladder sections and slide them into the completed platform section. Secure this joint using two 5 16 inch diameter 1 and 3 quarter inch bolts with lock nuts. Attach the ladder stabilizer bar next. The female section attaches to the welded bracket on the second run from the bottom on the middle ladder section. Bolt the bar into place using one two and a half inch bolt and lock nut. Slide the male section of the bar into place and secure using the wire lock pin as shown. Your stand is now fully assembled. To set up a summit ladder stand, first select a straight, healthy tree without any obstructions branches or limbs that might be in the path of setting up the ladder stand. Lay the ladder stand on the ground so that the V-bar is pointing up in the air and the end of the ladder section is about three feet from the tree base. Ensure all your ladder sections are bolted together. Now you need to connect the ratchet straps to the stand. Connect the strap with the ratchet on it to the corner of the seat frame. To do so, take the free end of the ratchet strap and wrap it around the corner of the seat frame near the V-bar. On the other side of the seat frame, connect the free end of the ratchet strap. Next, you need to attach the two long crisscross straps. They attach to the same area as the ratchet straps on the seat frame near the V-bar. Attach one on the right-hand side and one on the left-hand side. Pull the straps through the loops to create the cinch knot, similar to the one you created with the ratchet straps above. Lay the straps on top of the ladder sections. Finally, you need to connect the ratchet ends of the stabilization straps to the ladder section. Loop each ratchet end around the ladder section below the third ladder rung from the end. Do so on both sides of the ladder section, using the previous method to create a cinch knot. You should now have two ratchets hanging from the ladder section. Warning! Never wrap the stabilization straps around the ladder rungs. Wrap them only around the ladder columns below the ladder rung. Before you are ready to raise the ladder stand, thread the crisscross strap through the barrel of the ratchet strap, located at the third rung of the end of the ladder sections. Pull the strap tight. Tighten the ratchet until there is a slight arch in the ladder sections.
With all the straps secured to the stand, you are now ready to raise the ladder stand with three able adults. Starting at the platform area, one person needs to be on each side of the ladder section and one person in the middle. Carefully raise the ladder stand up until the V-bar teeth come in contact with the tree. Pull the end of the ladder sections out away from the tree until the foot platform is level. Warning! Check the ground under the ladder stand to make sure it is firm and level. Once the platform is level, stand on the bottom ladder rung until it sinks into the ground up to the bottom of the side of the bottom ladder rung. Next, release the crisscross straps ratchets so that the straps are hanging freely down. At this point, you need to attach the stabilizer bar to the tree. First, pivot the stabilizer bar up and remove the wire lock pin from the ladder stabilizer bar. Slide the male section of the stabilizer bar out until it makes contact with the tree. The stabilizer bar should be positioned so that it is perpendicular from the ladder column, roughly a 90 degree angle. Reinsert the wire lock pin. Note, there should be a slight outward arc in the ladder sections. Run the stabilizer bar rope from one side of the stabilizer bar around the tree and tie it off to the other side of the stabilizer bar. Next, take the two crisscross straps that have been hanging freely down and walk around the tree so that the straps form an X. Continue to pull the straps around the bottom of the ladder section and secure them to the ratchet straps that were attached below the third rung of the ladder stand. Now thread the crisscross straps through the ratchet strap. To do so, thread the loose end of the ratchet strap into the ratchet when the ratchet is folded in. Start from the bottom of the ratchet and insert the free end of the strap through the slot between the two ratchet bars. At this point, you can begin to ratchet the straps. Make sure you ratchet enough for the strap to go around twice. Remember, the free end of the straps should be facing out. Note, do not over-tighten these straps to where it starts to pull the foot of the platform down the tree. Warning. Always check to ensure the stabilizer bar and crisscross straps are secured correctly before leaving the ground. Before climbing up the ladder stand, visibly inspect to ensure the ground below the ladder sections is flat and level. All ladder sections are secured together by means of bolts, crisscross straps are securely fastened around the tree and to the ladder correctly, and the stabilizer bar is secured properly. Warning! Never jump or bounce on any other part of the tree stand in an attempt to force the platform to seat into the tree. Warning! You must now put on your safety harness if you have not already done so. Always refer to your harness instructions included with this stand for proper use of your safety harness. Now, put on a full body fall arrest harness system so you can attach the ladder platform to the tree. See Full Body Fall Arrest Harness System Instructions and Warnings for Proper Use. They were included with your stand purchase.
Still using three people, have one person on each side of the ladder section holding the ladder stand in place while you carefully climb the ladder stand. Make sure you use three points of contact as you climb and make sure your full body fall arrest harness is on. Upon arrival to the foot platform area, loop your tether strap around the tree and attach your tether to the strap. Make sure you are properly secured to the tree. Note, when using a ladder tree stand, we recommend using the Summit Climbing System or other secondary safety rope to allow you to remain connected during the ascent or descent. Next, keeping your weight centered on the middle of the platform area, wrap the previously installed upper ratchet strap free end around the tree and pull it through the barrel of the previously installed upper ratchet strap on the other side. These are sitting on the tree frame near the V-bar. Pull the strap tight and ratchet tight against the tree. Important! All ratchet straps must be ratcheted around the barrel at least twice. While at the foot platform area, inspect all parts and bolts for any damage that may have been caused during setup or when carrying the product into the field. If any damage or loose hardware is found, discontinue use immediately. All repairs must be done at ground level. When descending the tree stand, detach your tether strap and carefully climb down the ladder. Always use three points of contact as you descend. If you are using the Summit Climbing System, you should keep your tether connected to the Prusik knot during your descent. Slide the knot down with you as you move down the ladder. Be sure to maintain three points of contact with the ladder the entire way down. While you are descending, Recheck the stabilizer bar to ensure it is still tight against the tree and crisscross straps are tight. Retighten if needed. Warning: All straps must be 100% inspected, including all ladder sections to ensure they are secured by means of bolts or pins prior to each use. The stabilizer bar must be secured correctly prior to leaving the ground. Warning: you will not be connected to a safety rope or strap while you climb into or out of this tree stand. Use extreme caution when ascending or descending the ladder. Take your time and do not hurry. Warning: This ladder must be held in place while it is ratcheted tight and while the top ratchet is put into place. Do not use until all straps are securely attached. When removing a ladder stand, it is required to have three able adults to assist you in removing the ladder stand from the tree. Before climbing into the ladder stand, put on your full body fall arrest harness system by following the instructions and warnings for safe and proper use. 
Inspect all straps, ladder sections, and the stabilizer bar, ensuring they are still properly attached to the tree. With one person on each side of the ladder holding for stability, carefully climb up the ladder stand. Always use three points of contact with the ladder as you climb. Upon arrival to foot platform area, immediately attach your full body fall arrest harness system to the tree by looping your tether strap around the tree and connecting your tether to it. While secured to the tree with your harness connected to the tether strap, carefully disengage the upper ratchet strap that is connected to the seat frame near the V-bar from around the tree. From this point, until you are back at ground level, always ensure that two people are holding the ladder for stability. Warning! Never remove the crisscross straps or stabilizer bar until you are safely back on the ground and the ratchet strap around the tree has been removed. Never climb any ladder stand without the crisscross straps and stabilizer secured correctly. Carefully disconnect your full body fall arrest harness system from the tree. And without shifting your weight around, slowly and carefully descend the ladder using three points of contact. Upon arrival to the ground, remove the stabilizer bar from the tree and ladder section. Next, disengage the crisscross straps and unwrap them from the tree. Secure the crisscross straps back to the ratchet straps connected to the ladder section below the third rung and tighten until they are tight. This will provide support for the ladder during the removal process. Using three adults, lift up the ladder stand to pull the bottom ladder section out of the ground. Next, carefully walk the ladder down to the ground. Do not stand directly in the path of the ladder stand being lowered to the ground. Inspect the ladder for any damage possibly resulting from removing this product from the tree. Warning! Never reuse ratchet straps that were left in the field for use. Call Summit Tree Stands to purchase replacement straps. Sunlight, animals, or tree growth could have affected the strap integrity, which could cause the strap to fail, causing serious injury or death.
Before each use, look for nicks, gouges, cuts, cracks, bends, corrosion, or similar damage that can be the result of improper use or accidental damage. For instance, this could occur if someone else used the tree stand without knowledge of its proper use, or if the tree stand were dropped, hit by a motor vehicle, or subject to corrosive conditions, etc. Summit tree stands have the highest structural integrity by design, material selection, and manufacturing techniques. But as the owner, only your continued maintenance and care will assure trouble-free performance. By following the next few maintenance and care tips, you can extend the life of your stand. Summit foam seats are removable, so we recommend it is stored in a dry place when not in use. It is also important to replace your seat every two years or sooner if you discover damage or wear. If touch-up is required on the factory paint, use a high-quality outdoor spray paint to cover any bare metal areas that might develop over time. When moving your summit tree stand, packing it away, or placing it in your vehicle, make sure it is securely tied down and no other objects can slide onto it or hit it. Never use your ladder tree stand for anything other than what it is designed for. This summit tree stand is to be used on a tree for the purpose of hunting. Warning! Prolonged harness suspension may be fatal. If rescue personnel cannot be notified, you must have a plan to recover escape before hunting. Warning! Self-extraction may become necessary if any of the following become true. No one knows your location. Your communication efforts are exhausted. You're confident you have the strength, dexterity, and ability to perform self-extraction. You decided this is your absolute last resort. It is important to carry a device to assist with self-extraction. Simple devices such as screw-in steps or a rope like the Summit Tree Descender will allow you to remove the weight from your harness. This may enable you to return to the tree stand, ladder, or climbing steps, or slowly descend the tree. Summit provides a suspension relief strap with all of its harnesses. Using the strap can help alleviate suspension trauma. Thank you for taking the time to read, watch, and understand the instructions for your Summit product. Knowing how to use your full body fall arrest harness system and tree stand can be the difference between life and death. Remember, a successful hunt means taking the time to inspect your full body fall arrest harness system and tree stand before each use, as well as properly wearing your full body fall arrest harness system and properly using your tree stand. It is important to never hunt without telling someone your location. Enjoy using your Summit product.